NordPass, Bitwarden, both the sworn guardians of your passwords, now meeting in battle. Both equipped with great features and both following reliable security practices. So how do you decide which one to pick? After thoroughly testing out both password managers, yep, it's time to do a NordPass versus Bitwarden review 2022 style. Today, we're going to explore their features, security measures, and much, much more. So if you've been wondering which one of these to pick, stick around to find out who's going to win this battle. Hey, I'm Mike, by the way. Welcome back to Cyber News. Now, if you're new here, let me tell you a not so secret secret. Each time I hunt down the best deals and discounts I can find and then leave them down in the description. So check it out after uh, after we've answered all your questions, maybe. Hopefully. All right, first up, let's just jump right into the main question. Are these password managers safe? Heck yeah. Bitwarden security is actually pretty stellar with industry standard AES 256-bit encryption. NordPass, however, has implemented something a little newer, XCHACHA20. So you can rest assured that no matter which provider you trust with your data, they're going to keep it safe. With end-to-end -end encryption, even the companies themselves won't have a way to access your password vaults. Don't know about you, but I kind of like being the sole keeper of all my secrets. Speaking of keeping things, data storage options for each password manager are a little bit different. Bitwarden offers a gigabyte storage with their premium plan, with an option to buy extra gigabytes. Honestly, password managers charging extra for storage is not unheard of, but it doesn't make it any less irritating. NordPass works a little differently. You can absolutely store your sensitive data and notes, but to upload files, there's a bit of an awkward workaround. You have to get NordLocker. If you're willing to set that up, well then, viola, you'll enjoy three gigabytes of extra space. Now, just as NordPass has multi-factor authentication, Bitwarden's 2FA is also a thing, so don't forget to set that thing up. It might look like an extra step, but it gives you a lot more peace of mind. Also, it's worth mentioning that both companies have been independently audited, and while some issues were found, well, they were all quickly resolved. Bitwarden is also famous for being open source. That means their source code is available to view online and is constantly reviewed by developers. Bitwarden also offering self-hosting, so you can use your own hardware to store Bitwarden software for an extra layer of security. Although it does take a bit of work to set up and maybe it's not the best approach for novice users, and that's where we are on the security front, so why don't we take a look at privacy? See, I usually don't stress privacy when it comes to password managers as much, but I thought this time it was worth mentioning. NordPass is based in Panama. Why does that matter? Well, it means that thanks to local laws, they aren't required to store your data. Just a small amount of information is collected, including your email, IP address, and your payment methods. On the other side of this coin, I was actually a little disappointed to see that Bitwarden is actually based in the US. Uh -uh. See, I've mentioned this before, but it's not the end of the world as long as the company's privacy policy and reputation remain watertight. Nonetheless, they still log more sensitive data than NordPass, like your device type, operating system, and even your IP. All right, well, there's no real way around this. Both competitors are fairly similar when it comes to security. So maybe it all comes down to personal preference. NordPass is arguably a little more privacy friendly, so keep that in mind if that's important for you. Now, good security is kind of expected from any good password manager, but added bonus features might sway us one way or the other, right? In this case, if we put up Bitwarden versus NordPass, both password managers have pretty similar perks. For example, password importing. If you're looking to switch to NordPass, there's a separate section for importing your items that makes it a total walk in the park. And if anything, a CSV file import is also an option. Bitwarden allows both of these things as well, but I noticed that it can be a little tricky. The import is manual and there doesn't seem to be any clear separate section for it. So if you're a beginner, this might be a little caveat. However, if you end up needing to recover your account, be prepared for a headache. It won't be so easy with either of these providers. So make sure to write down your master password and keep it safe. Or else anything you just saved might go poof. And to make sure your passwords are a little more secure than password one, two, three. Both NordPass and Bitwarden offer a great password generator. 
You can even get phrases instead of mashed up symbols. So if you ever need to type it manually, it might be a little easier to recall. Sharing is caring, and you're definitely allowed to share your passwords on both platforms. I noticed NordPass doesn't limit how many people I can share my information with as long as that person is in my trusted contacts. See what I'm saying? So I've got to say, that's quite a handy feature to have. Bitwarden, however, deems that only one other person is worthy of such an honor. If you want more options, consider looking into their family plan, which allows up to six users. And last but not least, my favorite way to fill in passwords, autofill. NordPass makes this experience as seamless as it can get. As soon as you click on the box, a pop-up lets you fill in your credentials with one simple click. With Bitwarden, well, it's a bit of a different story. Mm, see? <laughs> So after testing both, I have to say that NordPass manages to fulfill tasks a little better. That's not to say that Bitwarden has a terrible offering, but as a competitor for best password manager, there's a few quirks not everyone's gonna appreciate. Now, if you want a good free password manager, both tools have something to offer. A free version of NordPass will let you use it only on one device at a time, and you won't have the option to share. But if you are only looking to store a bunch of passwords, well, the sky won't even be a limit. And with Bitwarden, you also get unlimited passwords. Plus, Bitwarden is on as many devices as you want. You can also share data with one other person. Pretty safe to say that Bitwarden might be the best free password manager out there. Just keep in mind that in the long run, it can become bothersome to deal with some of the other limitations. All right, so what if you are prepared to toss a couple of coins for a premium password manager? Well, Bitwarden will give you everything it's got for about 10 bucks a year. While NordPass will extend you even more bonus features, it's gonna cost you a little bit more at about $40 a year. With pricing alone, Bitwarden definitely looks a little more tempting. If you decide to try one of the password managers, we'll check out those discount deals in the description. So no matter which one you choose, it's gonna hurt your pocketbook a little bit less. Useful features, great security, affordable pricing points, oh, it's all cool. But it's entirely possible to get lost in all that. If you pay for a service, you don't want to sit around for hours trying to set it up. Well, I got some good news. It's not going to be a problem with either NordPass or Bitwarden. You can download and install the password manager from their official websites, then just create an account and boom, the password manager is ready to use. Both tools work on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. In terms of app usability, I found Bitwarden's browser and desktop apps work in a very similar way, or at least I didn't see that much of a difference. Looking at NordPass, however, I noticed a bit more features with the desktop app. Plus, it has a fantastic user interface. So if you want the full experience, I'd recommend getting the app itself and not just the browser extension. If you're looking for the best password manager to use on your phone, both providers got you covered, on Android and iOS at least. Each managed to design pretty neat programs that were easy to set up and navigate. Didn't encounter any problems and it only took a few seconds to get the gist of it. It's also pretty cool NordPass has a dark mode option, but props to Bitwarden here, it comes through with plenty of customization options. It's just, well, nice to play around with it. For browser extensions, no matter which browser you use, with NordPass it's going to look more or less the same. The Bitwarden Password Manager also offers browser extensions, but it's not an all-for-one deal. For example, Chrome users will lose the chance to use a sidebar for the Password Manager, and for those who prefer Edge, it will get a little buggy, which kinda sucks. There's only one thing I hate more than mosquitoes, and that is, uh-huh, software bugs. And if you're a new user and wondering if anyone's gonna help you out should any problems arise, well, here's a quick breakdown of their customer service. I've tried contacting NordPass a couple of different times via live chat, and each time, their response was swift. There's also email support as well as a ticket system, and there's no distinction between premium and free users, so that's great. Bitwarden, however, does make that distinction and offers priority support for premium accounts. Sounds like a red carpet dream, right? Well, actually not really. See, the only option is to email support, and even that won't be that fast. So if you need something answered quickly, you're gonna have to figure it out yourself or look it up in their FAQ section. Okay, so Bitwarden is a bit of a letdown in this round, especially since it's packing a few more years of experience in NordPass. It demands a bit more than you'd expect, however, it's still one of the most intuitive self-hosted options I've come across. 
By comparison, NordPass truly shines, not only for its extremely intuitive user interface, but also for its dedication to its customers. Whew, so much to say, so little time. Okay, before we jump into our conclusions, if you found this NordPass versus Bitwarden review helpful at all, don't forget to leave a like and tap that subscribe button. It will help us bring you more content just like this. All right, so the Bitwarden versus NordPass review time is now over. Can you tell who won this battle and who's the best password manager out there? Well, in the famous words of Einstein, everything is relative. Password managers are like a safety belt. So look, props to you for even just putting one on, no matter which one you end up using. But a battle is not finished without a winner in this case. While Bitwarden and NordPass seem to be on par with most of their services and features, well, when we dig in a little deeper, we reveal something completely different. Bitwarden, reliable and affordable. Seems like one of the better password managers out there, but meanwhile, this NordPass review shows a bit more of a modern approach with their XCHACHA20 encryption, plenty of advanced features, and what seems like a genuine interest in the user experience. And with such an impressive set of tools up their sleeve, sorry, NordPass takes the win for first place today. And that's a wrap for this one. If you have any questions on what comparisons you'd like to see in the future, well then you be sure to leave a comment below. Hey, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you all in the next one.